Good on you, Fritzy. Okay, let's start with this because Fenka de Jong is the EU policy director at Carbon Watch. She joins us, uh, a Carbon Market Watch, that is, I should say, and joins us live from uh, Brussels. Uh, Fenka, great to have you with us. Can we start with this? I mean, this has been a long time coming, right? I mean, so many will say, but, you know, when you look at the, 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 the grand scheme of it all, the bigger picture, 2%, that's what airlines contribute, 2% of man-made uh, CO2 emissions. That doesn't sound like a lot, though, does it? Well, um, it depends on how you look at it. At this moment, the aviation uh, sector is one of the top 10 global carbon polluters emitting more CO2 uh, per year than the 129, 129 lowest emitting countries. And its emissions are set to quadruple in the coming decade. So it is a, a problem that needs to be tackled in okay. order for us to, to stay within global warming limits uh, that are safe. Okay, no, no, okay, uh, great. But then this deal, is it, is it the right deal? Because it is interesting that at the moment it's only voluntary up until 2027, then it becomes mandatory. But correct me if I'm wrong, it says, what I've read, it says it becomes mandatory for the big countries with, or for the countries with a big airline sector. Uh, what, what does that mean, a country with a big airline sector? Well, it, it means that uh, from the year 2021, uh, up to over 60 countries have committed uh, to take part of this, of this deal to, to, to curb um, aviation's climate impact. This includes countries like the UK, the United States, but also China, for example. Um, what it does not do is, 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 is represent a global scheme. So its target of uh, carbon neutral growth uh, from 2020 onwards will not be reached because it only covers 80% of aviation's emissions growth. What about shipping, the shipping industry? Do we know, is, are there, is there a deal, a, a similar deal in place? I mean, are, are there talks? I mean, the shipping industry, uh, all those cargo ships, the carriers, etc., I mean, notorious, apparently, for, for emitting emissions, polluting. It's true that also the shipping industry is one of the sectors uh, that has not uh, been faced yet with binding uh, carbon cuts and the same applies indeed to aviation I mean so far aviation's emissions have uh, not been tackled by any global deal uh, the aviation sector operates in a world where they pay no fuel taxes or VAT exempt for example so it's good we start addressing this problem and uh, the deal reached yesterday is just the first step in effect, in order for us to limit global warming to levels that are safe, much more needs to be done also at the national level. Indeed. Okay, Femke de Jong, thank you very much. We appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us live from Brussels. And I have to say, it's good to see that the airline industry has got together and actually done something. Maybe the shipping industry needs to do the same. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Voluntary 2027, that's all I'm going to say. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now, shortly after the currency markets open,